welcome DTM week in review uh quick one this week so out of eight trade setups that we posted on Saturday five of those hit TP1 this week uh, a bit of a choppy week and uh, one of those hit TP4 for 18 percent gains and uh one that Nico had posted GME GMEE is one that we've been following for quite some time, and that saw a uh, nice 17% spike as well. So uh, even in these choppy sideways markets, there's definitely profits to be made uh, for those five TP1s that's somewhere around, somewhere between 25 and 38% profit. So there are still profits to be made, but uh, for this week i wanted to dive into uh one of our free trade setups and just really you know why we don't want to take this it worked out perfectly well <laughs> why do we don't want to take these until they hit our entry zones so this one was posted out we were holding our ema level quite nicely so it actually uh let me close this out it actually never did enter so we want to see for those that are a bit more advanced we want to see a higher high over this level and that transition around so instead of seeing the transition we saw a whale flag that's the yellow flag and an immediate push down below our stop loss so this is one that we can return to um i might repost it out but i don't really like the way this is just dragging along the bottom of the rsi so We'll keep an eye on it. Uh, I want to see some bullish divergence. And uh, yeah, I mean, the point of this really of why I'm talking about this one is because in the time that this was posted, we had five TPs in four days instead of waiting for this, you know, aping in, jumping right in, uh, hoping for a spike. Uh, some people didn't set stop losses. You know, that's always the case on every trade setup. Always set stop losses if you do enter the trade. But this is the safe entry. We want to see a break above and make support and um, then move up from there. So this one definitely did not. There was no entry. Uh, prime example of where we can move on to these other trade setups. We had four others that hit TP1s. You know, we could have made some easy uh, easy profits. Um, we talk, discussed on the marketing call as well, uh, DeFi picks, stuff like that. But um, just move on if it's not hitting the entry zone, right? So uh, take your profits. We had one that hit 18% TP4, right? And then retraced. So it's uh, a prime example. I can actually show that one because the trade is closed now. So Sushi had some really nice movement here. So big spike up um, TP4 levels before coming all the way back down to entry. So prime example of taking your profits off the table and making sure to not wait on trades. The power of day trade masters is that we can compound these trades, compound these profits. Even if it is just TP1, that TP1 is 10%, three and a half to eight, three and a half to 10% typically, depending on the coin. So uh, if it's only three and a half percent, typically you can put two hundred thousand dollars on that thing, right? Liquidity wise, and not have an issue getting out on the top. So um, for those small playing smaller portfolios, that's where we do have the smaller market cap coins. You know, the top thousand that do you know TP one is ten percent, and then typically fifty five percent by TP five. Sometimes these ones are double that, one hundred and ten percent, right? So. Uh, we're looking for some higher gains. You don't have to put the same amount of capital in to see the same amount of profit is the idea. You know, if you're trading with $1,000 and you make, you know, 100%, that's $1,000. But if you're trading with $10,000, you only need to make that 10%. But getting in and out of some of these smaller cap coins is much tougher with 10K. So that's where it makes sense. You know, only risk $1,000 of that 10K, double your money or 50%, right? Or you can play some of the, you know, if you're busier, you know, you just want to take some of the slower movers like Ray this week, you know, three and a half, seven percent is nothing to be upset about, especially, you know, if you can put your day trading with a hundred thousand dollars at three and a half to 
five, seven percent, you know, that's seven thousand dollars for the day, right? That's not too bad. Um, that covers <laughs> more than the bills in Mexico, right? So uh, keeping this one short today, I've got some construction going on outside, so I wanted to whip one up real quick, but being consistent for the week. So that's it for this week. We'll have more uh, coming out, but uh, make sure to hop on our Friday AMAs and live trainings to take full advantage of the opportunities that are at our fingertips and uh, practice proper risk management like always. So see you same time, same place next week. Looking forward to... Uh, next week's trading things are looking quite strong here one last little dip but uh we'll see we're making profits in the meantime you know regardless of what the markets do so that's it for today we'll see you soon